the jungle, no sight is sweeter than a new mama bird and her new baby bird egg. <laughs> Especially if you're a hungry snake. clock is the best gift Ape ever gave George. I didn't give that to you. That monkey just doesn't like you. Yeah. Hmm? Hey, an egg. Ooh, an egg. Well, let's see. We could have some omelets or a frittata. No, George must have laid this egg last night. Did you just say you laid an egg? Yup, a man egg. Hmm. How can I explain this? Ah, oh, I know. You can't lay an egg. I can talk like an animal. I can smell like an animal. Ugh. Why can't you believe I can lay an egg like an animal? How about the fact that you're a guy, huh? How about that? George is going to take care of man egg. And when a little George comes out of it, we'll see which one of us looks like an overgrown monkey. Fine. But an egg is delicate. You're worse than a water buffalo in a china shop. Mm. What beautiful craftsmanship. <laughs> Man egg, come. Oh, <laughs> he's just tired. Oh. Ah. That's better. Oh, can I see the baby? Hi there, cutie. I'm Magnolia, your pretty aunt. And that is Ursula. She's your other aunt. Uh, George, I think that diaper is kind of unnecessary. Oh, time for potty training already? No, I mean, I don't think an egg needs that much attention. Sure, just sit on it till it hatches. Ooh, I just can't wait to see a whole man come out of that egg. Got egg! <laughs> what? <gasps> <gasps> George just thinking about all the fun he'll have with little George. <laughs> what if it's a girl? Huh? A, a girl? A <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> bleak for help. George has to go. But what about your egg? Uh, George will take it with him. You can't take a delicate little egg with you. It's too dangerous. Uh, it's got to learn about rescue sometime. Also, long division. Very important. Help! Help! Okay, one moment. Hmm. Nope. Uh, hmm. Oh, nice and comfy. <laughs> there you go. Hey! Get away from that man egg! Remember, 
never to talk to Swap! No, no! was a gunner when that hyena found it. And it was just luck when George found it in that egg fruit grove. You lost it? George still can't believe it wasn't eaten by the vulture who took it. Oh, or smashed with clubs by the chimps. That's terrible. George, as king of the jungle, you have too many dangerous duties to take care of this egg. Oh. Okay. For safety of little George. <laughs> Magnolia, you're hogging the egg. Am not. Are so. Hey, I have a fun idea. Let's use this time to get to know each other a little better instead of arguing. Sometimes in the morning, George's breath smells like bologna. Okay. Go back to arguing. Am not. Are so. Am not. You are, 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 are. <laughs> George is so lonely without man egg. Am not. Are so. Am not. Are so. You know, Ape, you could stand to trim your toenails now and then. What are you talking about? They're scratching me. My toes are nowhere near you. Are so. Are not. Are so. Wait. Those aren't Ape's toenails. <gasps> it's hatching. It's not a man. It's a bird? Weird. Whoa! Get that semi hat egg! I hope it doesn't fall and break its shell! And I hope that hyena had lunch already! Where's the egg? Man egg, you're back! And you have feet! Wow. I guess he took better care of it than we thought. Well, sure. What'd you expect? I break it? <laughs> hey! Cookie, cookie! Hello, little George. Cookie, cookie! Oh, okay. Hello, Tookie, Tookie. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Cookie, cookie! 
sure. Tookie Tookie can visit George whenever he wants. And that's the story of how George met Tookie. Ah, the jungle at night. <laughs> Soothing. And jazzy. Bungles! <laughs> 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 Uh-oh! <laughs> I sincerely hope this is a bad dream. Uh, <laughs> it, George just want Ape to get good rest. Bongos! Huh? But everyone in the jungle knows what bongos do to me. Uh, Abe, stay here while George investigates. I tried telling him, George. Always open to another music lover. Yeah, but why isn't Big Mitch at the temple? Huh, sad story. Just when things were finally going good at the temple. Hey, quit hogging the cheese. I found my old set of bongos. Any requests? Ooh, ha, cha, cha. Guess you have to be alive to appreciate good music, huh? Uh, tossed out of my own ancient golden temple with nothing but my beloved bongos. <laughs> but for now, let's party! Uh, give it to me. <laughs> 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 uh. Bingo, bango, bongo time! I thought you were gonna take care of it. Oh, Big Mitch just got tossed out of his home. Don't worry, George has other plans. <laughs> Aha! I do not approve of this plan. But, George, you can't solve all your problems by putting your friends in a block of cement. Why not? Ape can still talk, and George can feed him, and hold his book up so he can read, and... I have to go to the bathroom. Oh. What you want to do is distract Big Mitch with another instrument. George doesn't have any instruments. <clears throat> My voice is considered an instrument. By who? Me? supposed to take care of Mitch. Oh, Mitch taught me how to sing like a rock star. Isn't that so awesome? Gonna do it again. <laughs> this means war. Bongo moisturizer? Keeps your bongo skin soft. How thoughtful! Uh, 
called silence, George. And you'd better get used to it because that's the way it's gonna be from now on. <laughs> Here we go again! A one, and a two, and a three! Ape tipped over Big Mitch's tree? George, something had to be done. There were a lot of animals in that tree. Ah, it's better for them to find a new home where they don't have to listen to those awful bongos. Good, because George invited all the animals to come stay with us. Huh? Hello! What do you have to do to get some breakfast around here? Go. You're in my house, and I make the rules, and the first rule is no bongo playing. <laughs> These animals need a new tree. Any vacancies? Sure. Great. Are they available right away? I just need to do a background check, get references clean, and rebark. Oh, and no marmosets. <laughs> Named Mitch. <sighs> oh, whoa! Big tree! How come George not smack into it before? It looks empty, George. Do you know what this means? Uh, George gets his own bed back? <laughs> Sorry, Big Mitch no can do this. That's too bad. Because if you do move into this tree, you can have your bongos back. Oh! Yeah, give me my bongos! Yeah, uh, uh Tree first, then bongos. Slick. Very slick. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah! Ah, <laughs> <sighs> peace and quiet at last. We can't stand the bongos anymore! All oh, this evicting gets me in a partying mood! Can I get a what, what? Holla! Get him! <gasps> oh, <there. laughs> okay, fellas, we can work this out. I mean, you wouldn't hurt a musician, would you? No! <laughs> <laughs> now see what you did? If you just... <laughs> we told you we don't want you and your annoying bongos in this temple anymore. I am offended, sir. My drum thingy playing is one of the highest caliber. Hey, cut that out! Huh? How do you do that? Every time I hear Bongo's, an ape loves to dance. Great exercise for mummies, too. 
My bandages are getting a little tight. That looks like fun! Let me try! I love it! Keep playing! Here we go! Holla! <laughs> Fun! George should get instrument! No bongos! Uh, George? George! George! High above the busy city stands a mighty mansion. A mansion with antlers. This is no ordinary man. An itchy antler. This means I've got a crime to stop. He is Mantler, the man with antlers. Using only his antlers, his incomparable intelligence, and his ability to withstand severe head injuries. I meant to do that. Mantler hurries to stop a terrible crime. Prepare to meet the antlers of justice. The jewelry store is next door. Sorry. <laughs> Freeze! Huh? This is the robbery, right? Yeah. Prepare to meet the antlers of justice. <laughs> hey, Mandler! Catch! Now that's using your head. Bling, bling. Let's get out of here! He hollers so loud it makes the bad guy's pants fall off? Yes! Mantler mixes the cry of the caribou with the resolve of a ram and the breath of a buffalo. <laughs> In issue 141, Mantler stops an international ring of cash cheaters. Oh, and in this uh. one, he meets Mantler? Mantler meets Mantler? L like a parallel universe? No, it says here, you can meet Mantler. Oh, it's a contest, George. You write a letter saying why you're Mantler's biggest fan. The grand prize winner gets to meet him. George, meet Mantler. Listen to this. Tenth prize is a box of Mantler fruit snacks. Ninth prize is an official Mantler antler hat. Eighth prize is a lot. Millions of kids enter these things, and then nobody wins the grand prize. But George is Mantler's biggest fan. So? I'm the biggest fan of investigative journalist and folk singer Regina Dooley, but that doesn't mean I'll ever meet her. Believe me, I've tried. Uh, don't listen to her, George. I'll help you. Dear Mantler, what else should we say to him? Oh, uh, I... Oh, that's good. George of the Jungle am your biggest fan. Signed, your biggest fan, George of the Jungle. Uh, your biggest fan. Ooh, I like that. Very direct. Yeah, uh-huh. Now all you have to do is check your empty mailbox for the next eight weeks and then go to bed disappointed every night. No. Now we send in 999 more. George is gonna meet Mantler. Yes. <sighs> <sighs> George? Are you okay? George hasn't gotten anything yet. Mantler wouldn't let his biggest fan win nothing. I told you, George, the chances of you winning anything are... <laughs> hey, death prize! Huh. <gasps> Mantler fruit snacks! So, they probably give those to everyone who enters. <gasps> They still need you to keep buying comic books. And eight prize? <laughs> they have a warehouse full of that stuff. The good prizes only go to the friends and relatives of the people who work there. 
<laughs> Look! A handwritten invitation on Mantler's personal stationery! Dear George of the Jungle, you are my very biggest fan, and I would like to spend the day with you, signed Mantler. <laughs> George one! George one! <laughs> you think George and Mantler are gonna fight crime together? Or just have pancakes and talk? Shh! I'm in the middle of issue 21 where he fights the evil sheep herder. I never realized how great these were. Mantler's here! Mantler's here! Mantler's here! I don't believe it. George of the Jungle. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Meatler. <laughs> Meatler will not be coming to visit you. I knew it! I will take you to him. George, meet Meatler. I'm coming too. I'm coming too. George and Ape embarked on the long, long drive away from the jungle. But it was worth a long trip for a personal one-on-one -on -one meeting. I'm sorry, George. Maybe Ursula was right. No! Mantler obviously brought other kids here to meet Mantler's biggest fan, George! Mantler! Well, well, what do we have here? When I found out how many Mantler fans there are, my antler sense told me to invite everyone to spend a day with Mantler. People offered us to be Mantler. Oh, I can't see! Pipe down! I can't hear! This stinks! Uh, Mr. Mantler! Excuse me! Mantler! Identify yourself. George of the Jungle, Mr. Mantler! <laughs> Your biggest fan! Wait! Uh, I'm Mantler's biggest fan! No, you're not! I am! He can't be your biggest fan. I've got a personal invitation! Uh, 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 but George is his handwritten on Mantler's personal stationery! <gasps> Me too! Yes, you've all got invitations because you're all Mantler's biggest fan! Mantler stinks! Let's get him! Uh oh! Mantler's in trouble! Mantler! Where'd he go? Everyone, everyone, please calm down, calm down! Mantler? Are... are you afraid? No! No, no, no! <laughs> Mantler? <laughs> afraid? <laughs> this reminds George of the time all the rhinos got mad and started a stampede. Oh, George was awful scared. Well, what did, did you do? George remembered what Mantler said. Sometimes using your head means hiding and taking time to think. I said that? Issue 202, page 9. Will you help me think, George? <gasps> and together, these two great heroes thought. They thought and they pondered. They considered and they wondered. Until... I got nothing. Ah! Maybe your fans would like to hear the Mantler Hammer. He used the Mantler Hammer on us. That's what I came to see. We love you, Mantler. Hey, Ursula! 
George, that you have a terrible time. George got a signed mantler! <laughs> well, at least you got something you can do. <gasps> I'm taking the year off so I can spend an entire day with each and every one of my biggest fans, beginning with George. Look. We're not gonna buy any more Mantler stuff, so... George tells me you and I have something in common. Huh? I'm a big fan of investigative journalist and folk singer... Regina? Dooley? Hiya, Ursula. So who wants to go expose corruption, then write a song about it? I, I do! do. <laughs> hey, Ape! Isn't this the greatest? <laughs> uh, ape? A little help here? <laughs> oh, George of the Jungle does more in one day than most kings of the jungle do all year. From building a rope bridge across a bottomless crevasse. <laughs> Do other important things. George is finally going to taste his nose. Hmm. Tastes like ape's nose. Stone peckers? Oh, you know, like woodpeckers, only with stone. Anyway, we can't thank you enough. Saving jungle books is what George does. Go oh, and picking nose when no one's looking. Well, George is off to do his jungle duty! can make a fella sleepy. Good morning! This is our tribute to you, George. We call it Mount George Moore. George has never seen so many Georges. <gasps> it's beautiful! <laughs> this assault on what was once a simple, natural rock. Why doesn't she go give the hippos a hard time for peeing in the river? Sheesh! Oh. Ah. George, Magnolia won't come out of her house. You have to talk to her. Hello? Those Georges, they're looking at me all the time. It's creepy! It's just rocks, Magnolia. It's not like they can tell if you're wearing makeup or not. <laughs> Can you see me without my makeup? You see, George, Mount George Moore just doesn't fit in here. Well, George loves Mount George Moore. George thinks it's one of the 17 wonders of the jungle. Right up there with the backwards flowing waterfall. <laughs> oh, and the 
easy to open pickle jar. You can protest all you want, but Mount Georgemore is here to stay. Forever! Good night, George. And George. And George. Oop, almost forgot George. Good morning, Mount. Your mouth, George. What to find out? Who did this? Hey, you mind? Aha! I'm telling you, I just found the acorn there. I know, I know, I know. And you picked that exact acorn because... Uh, because uh, it was lunchtime? Ah George supposes you're wondering why he called you all here. Uh, you went off to find clues as to who vandalized Mount George more, and now I guess you found some? Oh, Ursula's supposed to be wondering why she's here. Maybe it's because Ursula is the culprit! What? What's your proof? Might I look at your proof? <laughs> a leaf! Hmm. Where does a person get a leaf on her foot? I wonder. Oh, I know. In the jungle, doing bad things! That's where! Here's what happened. So George thinks he can ugly up my jungle? Well, maybe it's time to ugly up George. Hey, take her away. Um, to where? George, it's the jungle. It's like native leaves. Uh, George, your poop's on fire. Ah! Mm. Mm. Not afraid of a charred leaf, eh? Interesting. Not so much. Because Magnolia was afraid of creepy statues staring at her. So, Magnolia must be the culprit! Excuse me? Plus, Magnolia loves redecorating. Ooh, closing in for the kill. It was a well-thought-out plan. Taking years learning to speak the monkey language. How could I have hung out with a bunch of monkeys if I've been hiding in my room the whole time? Yeah, right. So that can only mean one thing. Ape is culprit! What? George, it wasn't me. Oh? Well, then what is this? <laughs> that is my personal diary, and it is locked. Uh-huh. Would Ape unlock and please read aloud pages 1 through 100? No. Aha! Uh -huh. Ape has a hundred pages of secrets. Ape, take Ape away. Why would Ape do that to his best friend? Back to the scene of the crime! George supposes you're wondering why he called you all here. Well, you asked Ape what you should do, and he said to go... <sighs> oh, right. Yes, George, we are wondering. That's better. George, I think I see a clue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, look. Ear hair. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Culprits! All right, so we did it. But you had it coming. But snakes were the ones attacking poor defenseless stonepeckers. Defenseless? You didn't see what happened before you showed up. Those poor birds were stealing our eggs. <laughs> Got another one. <laughs> <laughs> This is too easy! Ah! Help me! Hang on, Bernie! You were protecting little eggies? Yep. So, 
You found out our little scheme, huh? Ah, well, so what? Hey, take them away. To where? Of all the ungrateful heroes we've ever pecked tributes to, come on, stone peckers, we've got some pecking to do! Run! <laughs> Sorry, George. Sorry, George. George, I'm sorry. George, I'm sorry. George, you saved our home. I sure hope George, George, and George have found nice, happy places to live. General, this was just fired at us from the planet Earth, and we will match them blow for blow. Attack! 